Hello, Cancer. It's a Oh My God Tarot, and this is your mid-October tarot card reading. Let's see what comes out. It's nice. It's really nice when we just do the tarot card, like just the hey, what? Just speak through the cards. Tell us what's going on and how to assist. And um, that's what's happening. So let's have at it. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What's Cancer need to know? What's going on with Cancer? I might have to break up a cat fight. Oh, shoot. Cancer. So you're going solo, eh? You're doing a solo thing? That's, a, that's cool. That's cool. And you're right where you need to be with them cups. Okay, I see why you're... Okay. Lots of individuality so far. Lots of me doing me. I like it, Cancer. You're doing you. You're showing the independence. We're going from eight to nine. We're showing progress. Look at you. Look at you. Awesome. Oh, snap. And then we have a little indecision, but that's okay. It is okay. So, Cancer, Eight of Cups, it's just, it represents sometimes depression, but definitely going inwards. And a lot of the time, it's not just a random, I gotta go inwards for a second. It's stuff happened. And you need time to process it. And that's what this represents. And it feels like going on off on your own because maybe there's no one to really talk to about it. Maybe nobody, maybe there's tons of people to talk to it, but nobody really understands. Maybe nobody's been through it. Maybe you're, do you think that you just have to deal with this yourself and you just need some time to focus on yourself, to reflect. And maybe, cause I don't know, this, this eight of cups always kind of gives a little bit of the hermit vibe. I always think of. Because it's just about kind of going off on your own and reflecting, like kind of just observing yourself, observing from a broader perspective, withdrawing from life, observing for a second, assessing, and then going back to participate once you're like, okay, I'm, I'm good, I'm cool, I'm cool. It's like when you need to splash cold water in your face, only, you know, you gotta turn your phone off. And then we have a little more of that solo energy, but a little more, a little more positive. Um, with the Pentacles, it's like things going well, or how? What do you want your next step in your career to be? Nine of Pentacles is giving us a lot of like, I want to be independent. I want to be able to support myself. I want to be thriving. I want to do more than just support myself. I want to thrive. But almost like the reflection is needed because you don't know what step to take, and that Two of Swords represents indecision, and holding still not moving one way or the other in either direction. It's like when you want to make a change and you're like, well, I would need a new job or I need a new place. New, maybe I need to move somewhere and then find a new job there. Maybe, it, and then you just end up doing nothing. So it's like, it's representing that, that indecision that causes you to hold still. And it's, it's self-inflicted. But okay, that's the name of your game. Right now, this is the stuff. That's what you're dealing with right now, Cancer? Let's have a look, sees and see. A little bit more about that because I, I mean that could be relationships that could be career moves I'm feeling like you guys want to be a boss a B we, we keep it clean over here we keep it cute boss a B so the Queen of Swords is showing that you know we're wanting to look tough we're wanting to wear shoulder pads we're wanting to be that guy come on cat no duh. is that loud I hope you guys can hear that um, Hey, oh my god, oh my god, she just dribbled this, what? I can't believe it just, she just twirled the, okay, you know what, let me break this up, because this is, I know you guys don't care about this, but let me just, girl, oh my god, you ripped up all the toilet paper. What's going on out here? It's a madhouse. I need order. I'm going to give readings out here. Uh-uh. Let's shuffle a little bit. So I'm feeling like you guys got to channel that inner B with the Queen of Swords. She makes executive decisions. She's very independent. We're getting nothing but independence here. We're getting, hey, lock in. We're getting, you You can, should trust yourself. You can trust yourself. You can trust. Listen, you've been, you do healthy things like self-reflect. That's more than 90% of the population. Okay? And then... You know, when you're lying to yourself and not making a clear, definitive decision, at least you're aware. And then we know, and who you know you need to be, 
is you need to channel some of that Queen of Swords energy. You need to be somebody who will cut someone if, they'll, if they step in your way, but not actually because that's illegal. You want to make executive decisions about your life. You want to be cutthroat or you at least just want to be a strong person that can just do stuff and take risks and like be confident in yourself. That's what you want. Which is like, you know, cancers are very watery, so not surprised. Seven of Wands. You know, that is about... Hey, that's a really peaceful looking card for a sign that's about like having your defenses up or just like standing your ground. Again, again, you guys are getting the vibes of like... I need to put pedal to the metal. We got the Page of Swords, we got the King of Cups, and we got the Queen of Wands in reverse. So it's like a lot of like independence and like I need to like really summon, trust the voice within. <laughs> yeah, go listen to that song. But um, it's, it's showing a lot of you need to step it up and be the person that you actually are and that, that people recognize you to already be in some areas of your life. And I think that there's some hard decisions that you need to make. Maybe that's what you're trying to hold off on. But it, it is hanging in limbo. And it is indecision. And so when you have indecision around you, then you attract indecision from other people. So you want to get that sorted out ASAP. And the Queen of Swords is showing, like, you know, not just that, oh, I can make hard decisions. I can, you know, I enforce, I command the respect that people got to give me to interact with me. And the Queen of Swords is saying, hey, you have to, like, Show that you command respect, um, show that you respect yourself, and take stuff seriously. And although, you know, you're in the body of this, like, gentle, or societal, societally speaking, gentle, nurturing being, there is a time and a place for that. And business is business, and I handle mine. That's the type of vibe that, like, it's saying that you, like, you should be on. But at the same time, don't be hard just for the sake of being hard or mean for the sake of being mean. Don't abuse it. Don't be manipulative or wicked and stay bad because of it. You know, that, rude doesn't mean you're tough. Rude doesn't mean you're making progress. It just means you're, you're lazy with the way you wear things and reckless with other people's feelings. So seven of wands, another reminder, you know, being defensive, you don't want to do that too much. You want to be overly defensive. You want to let the flow, you want to let go and let that flow so that opportunity can float on in. And so you don't always have to be defensive. Yeah. Be defensive, you gotta be more defensive and then defend that and then be defensive and then that, that, that. that. All right, and I just think that's, all it takes is a little reminder because you guys are already air signs, so Queen of Swords is all, you already know how to get up in that archetype and do your thing. Uh, you are Gemini, you got the gift of Gab, you have uh, Mercury ruler, so we already know. I mean, sorry, sorry, you're Cancer. You are Cancerian. And that's why you go on walks and do self-reflection. That's why you have elevated emotional intelligence. But that makes sense. The Queen of Swords would have Cancer being like, hey, man, shake your shoulders. Hey, tell them you want your change. No tip for them. This is a Dollarama. Stand up for yourself. Don't let them cut the line. It's like that person, like, summon that spirit. It's definitely important for a cancer, a very watery cancer. So, yeah, and don't be overly defensive because you're also very sensitive and you could be very, like, quick to be like, oh my god, what? Because you expect this, in this cruel world, you expect people to be all trying to play you, you know. So, watch the defensiveness. Watch the defensiveness. Trust yourself. But, like, you know, know yourself too. Like, I tend to think people are trying to get, like, attack me. I tend to, so let me assess this a little bit further before I hype, like react too quickly. Page of Swords, we got a little bit of drama, a little bit of drama, but that's to be expected. You are a Gemini. You can't help but we like, you, you like that. Oh my goodness, hold on. Speaking of drama, can you just, oh, you knocked over the cold card. Come on, man. You gotta stop this, Darlell. Your cute little cat, you're just making, you're, why are you destroying things? thought you loved me. I guess you never said you loved me, so... <laughs> Page of Swords, giving us drama, just like the garbage being tossed all over the place by my cat. Um, this person's holding on to, I guess, ideas while they read a book. Weird. Weird, right? It's just the person that... And then tightrope walking? What are you doing? You're all over the place. 
you're here and you're there. And I feel like, you know, that could be other people talking, but it could be, maybe you want to limit your gossip a little bit. Just a touch. Now, maybe you don't. Maybe that helps you with networking. I don't know. But, like, it just, it's there and it's right in the middle. So it's like, it just it needs to be said. It's usually not really a good thing. Maybe what you're reflecting on and what you need to evaluate is everything you've been told. Whether, and then sort out the gossip from the non-gossip. Or maybe what gossip was real intel. And, like, you know, think about it. Reflect. And use a lot of emotional intelligence. We have the King of Cups. Authority. Just trying to do right by everyone. Just trying to be diplomatic. Just trying to be politically correct. Just trying to be helpful. Just trying to be empathetic and compassionate towards all parties in any situation. Compassionate towards yourself, compassionate towards others. Try to be understanding as well as be understood by omitting the intensity of anger. Um, but rumors. Compassion towards what you hear. Don't judge a book by the cover. Um, and yeah, you know what it's giving? It's giving somebody who just needs kind of the kick in the pants. It's like, no, believe in yourself. Trust yourself. Just go for it. We don't know what's going to happen. Just go for the adventure. Do it. Do it. Do it. Try stuff. Try stuff. Maybe some of you guys are at a standstill. Some of you guys are not feeling courageous enough. And some of you have heard things. You've heard rumors. Heard this, that, 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 that. And it's like, use your emotional intelligence. Go out there. Reach things. Touch people. And not just go on what you heard, what people said. Go experience it firsthand. We have the Queen of Wands here. Emotional intelligence. Babe, lady of Action archetype of action and compassion as well so there's a creative way to um help yourself soothe yourself and help others as well i say that because of that king of cups it's just giving a lot of emotional intelligence so obviously like others are involved because cups are about that connection and what what is a connection other than with self but like it's about other connections about relationships and and being positive or conflict resolution within them and just having a higher elevated level of understanding for your fellow brethren and i think that like just with this i think some of you guys are just at a crossroads of trying to understand yourself and your position in life and where you want to be and who you want to move and what you want to move and what you want to shake up but you have to be strong and i feel like you just need to summon that you need to not make excuses for that not not to get defenses when somebody tries to help you with that it might even be a queen of swords archetype trying to help you or impart wisdom but you feel very sensitive to it and very defensive or whatever. Try not to do that. Try to just gain the wisdom. Page of Swords, don't get too caught up too much in the drama. I guess that's like kind of a reminder to stay focused. But if you're going to be colorful and creative and and do it for inspiration or something less uh, salacious, cool. You know, but just be emotionally intelligent about that because the King of Cups there is just, that's stressing like, that's the most important thing to be the king of your emotions and not, you know, hyper overreactive or too insensitive try to care about others while you're caring about yourself um queen of wands and then just know that that also contributes to creativity and like it could you could get manipulative with it because you're really good at again emotional intelligence understanding people shape-shifting um but hey there's a thing called karma we don't want to do that queen of queen of wands is also very resourceful so never say oh i couldn't do it because like duh. just always find a, a way and Maybe have kind of a never say die mantra. Um, again, the Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords needs to be summoned. I feel like these reversal, this reversal, and this reversal don't really the Queens. They, they, it feels like something that just needs to be summoned within, or something that is needed, or something that you re realize that I just wish I was braver. I just wish I could just, ugh, just I wish I could just be that person who was like, oh, has that Hollywood story where they're like, well, so I walked in, I pretend to be my own agent, or I tried to, I did something quick, witty, clever, and bag the deal took a risk i wish i were that per i wish i could summon that some of that but you got to be creative you got to find the creative that you already know who you are nobody has your unique situation so you just have to kind of like embrace it and really um again use emotional intelligence use emotional intelligence gemini i feel like yeah you break through whatever it is you're feeling about your independence and you're being solo doing your thing you break free of that when you summon those energies that queen energy actually and that king energy why not okay but just just keep your eye on the prize there's drama but i feel like this is just so much more to this page of swords than drama i don't think it's straight up drama it feels like i feel like that's leads that's leads if you're looking for oh oh death and rebirth it is transformation so that's good maybe it's there's something that's coming to an end that you hearing about you're not sure about oh okay so like if let's say you're like oh we're on the street company's going under we got to get out of here 
And it's like, just not focus on that. Let's focus on where we're going next. And let's get excited, actually. Because it's like, oh, the, what's coming? What's about to happen? To me, more exciting. Rebirth is more exciting than that, you know, that death part. That death part's kind of a downer. But yeah, also Scorpio could be coming in. Somebody with, like, heavy, heavy loyalty. King of Cups, it, again, exhibits emotional intelligence. It, you're sure to impress the Scorpio. Oakley Dunks. So, yeah, I feel like that's it. That's that's your reading. I'm sorry for the little cat interruption. Hope you guys are okay with that. And um, like the video. Why not? Like the video. And subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. And um, check out my Etsy shop. I sell soy candles. They're eco-friendly. And a bunch of fragrance oils, some gemstones, if you're interested, on Etsy. Go ahead and... Um, Give something a like. Get me some traffic. Get me some traffic over there. You know, and um, I would be so for forever grateful. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.